Dude, it is so freaking hot outside. Oh my god. It should come as no surprise to anyone at this point that I am a big retro video game collector. And while I don't have it in here, my Amiibo collection is pretty massive as well. It's... Look, look, I'll show you right now. Little clip. There you go. That's the Amiibo collection. Point is, I have had a couple of videos about Collection Chronicle, but I haven't really made a lot of videos about Collection Chronicle. So here's a video about Collection Chronicle. So if you were to look behind me, you see I have a lot of different games for a lot of different systems, and that's true. A lot of it was donated in one way or another. Like my NES collection, about half of that came from one person. Thank you. And this isn't a video to try to fish for more donations, but what it is is a video to try to give you some advice on how you might be able to expand your collection, because this is something, even though I've been collecting for about 10 years now, this is something that I've only just now done and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. A lot of people when they first get started with collecting video games of any type, they tend to focus on getting as much as they possibly can, right? Quantity over quality. And for some people, that's cool. I mean, I definitely have a lot of games in here that maybe I didn't think I would ever own, but I did at one point say, hey, here's a bundle of games. I'm going to collect it and add to the collection. Now, this may seem like a no brainer, but you should be making a list of all the games that you want to own someday, even if they're way out of your price range now, make a list of all the games that you want to own for the collection or the console that you're collecting for. No duh, right? Well, there's a lot of games out there that you might not know that you want. Maybe the art on some of the boxes is just kind of cool, and you're like, hey, I'd like to check this out someday. I'm going to add this to my list. Well, where can I go to find a list of video games so that I can go through and sort through all of the different games on each of the platforms? Hair is driving me crazy. Now, the website I'm going to direct you to is called VGPC.com, which stands for Video Game Price Charting.com. The website has a little bit of controversy behind it based on how it values games. It's all done on like uh, averages and prices and purchases that it does off of eBay, Amazon, and whatever else. But if nothing else, it's a great tool to go through and reference all of the games on a specific platform. All right, so what we're looking at now on the left side is the list of games that I want in no particular order, and on the right side is PriceCharting.com or VGPC.com. Either one will get you here. <laughs> uh, on the left side here, you can see all the different games or all the different platforms that I want to start collecting for. This isn't even all of them, but this is kind of what my focus is going to be for right now. But uh, you can see I have in categories the, the types of or the games that I want to add to my collection. These are all the titles that I want to own at some point in a physical format. Um, so what I did, basically, I made the list of all the different platforms that I want to collect for, and then I went over to PriceTrading.com. If you'll just join me over here for a second. Um, from here, there's a tab where you can click on video games and choose what platform you want to collect for. So all I did is I went to NES, and there's a way that you can filter it so that it's alphabetical. Kind of got to click this little plus and sort by alphabeticals there, but anyway. And then just go down, see what you want to do, see what you want to find. Maybe you want to own a copy of 3D World Runner at some point. All I did was right click, copy link, and you don't have to do it this way. This isn't the way to do it, this is how I did it. I just copied the link and I made a little link in this Google Docs here. So that way, if I wanna come back to it later, I can just click to it and boom, I'm at the website. You know, the point of this video, the point of what I'm telling you here is making a list of the games that you want Maybe you have a, a birthday or a holiday or something coming up and you have family members like, hey, I don't know what to get you. What do you want for your birth Christmas? You just go, hey, check out this list. Just buy me something off of this list. And yeah, like I said, you're going to want to put games here that maybe even be out of your price range a little bit. Like look at Bomberman 64 Second Attack. This game is up to $227 loose. It's expensive and I want it. So... That's all I'm saying. The idea here is to make a list of goals or make a list of things that you might want. So that way, while you're collecting, you have a visible goal, walk path, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that that's it. That's that's a big, long-winded way to say, make a list. You can find a list on VGPC. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more on Collection Chronicle and, and some other video types like that. Um, but more on that, I guess, in an update a little later. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about what I'm doing as a collector or, or ways that I collect, or if you have any questions on anything collection related, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at Fulfil Husky. If you're new here, join the Discord, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what game you really want in your collection, even if it's kind of out of your price range. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And I will catch you in the next video. High five. Oh.